I'm in the kitchen today making a classic recipe that everybody loves, and uh, that is macaroni and cheese. If you go to any church function or any family get-together, you're going to be sure to find mac and cheese on the table. So I have a homemade recipe that I want to put together for you today. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and uh, you will be the hit of the party if you bring this to the, to the party. Okay, so first of all, I've got, um, I've got my noodles in this pan here. You need to take 16 ounces of elbow macaroni, boil it in salted water until it's tender, drain the water off, and then pour it in your pan. So that's what I've got here. I've got it in the pan. And next you need a one stick of real salted butter. Put that in the pan. And we want to kind of stir that around and let that melt into your noodles. So we're just gonna let this sit and melt while we're working on the other ingredients. Now this recipe is called heart attack in a pan. And the reason that it's called heart attack in a pan is because of the rich ingredients that you use. And one of the ingredients I just showed you, which is the real butter, and um, another ingredient is heavy whipping cream. And you have two kinds of cheeses. You've got the Velveeta original cheese, and we have sharp cheddar cheese. So that's enough um, fat probably in this recipe. That's the reason it's called heart attack in a pan, but it is definitely worth eating. So um, I have taken, I've got this bowl and I have 16 ounces of Velveeta cheese cubed in this bowl. Next, you want two cups of sharp cheddar cheese and it does need to be sharp because that is, that's gonna give it the flavor you want. If it's medium or mild, it's just kinda, of, man, you know. So you need sharp cheddar cheese. So we're gonna put that in here. Okay, and then we want to put in this one quart of heavy whipping cream. Now, this is uh, the ingredients for the cheese sauce that we're putting together here in this bowl. Okay, this is our cheese sauce that we're going to make. That's what it looks like. I need to slide this into the microwave, and we're going to microwave this until it is melted, and we'll have a nice cheese sauce. So when I have this melted, I will get back to you and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna get the cheese sauce out of the microwave. Okay, so I have cooked this cheese sauce, uh, I microwaved it for 10 minutes. I microwaved five minutes, stirred it, and then microwaved it another five minutes. Stirred it up real good, and we have our cheese sauce here. Okay, can you see that? All right. Now, we want to pour this cheese sauce over the noodles. Stir it up. Get all of the noodles coated real good. 
All right, now our next uh, step is we're going to slide this into the oven and we're going to let it bag, uh, bake until it is thoroughly heated and bubbly, okay? I've got my oven on bake in 400. All right, we're gonna let that bake for a little while and we'll come back and check it. Okay, so the mac and cheese has been baking for about 20 minutes. We're gonna check it, see what it looks like. Okay, that looks very nice. See how it's bubbling and it's brown on top a little bit. That's done, that looks good. So let's take it over here to the stove. And this is what your finished product looks like. So if you make this mac and cheese and take it to your next gathering, you are sure to be the star of the show.